you can use population data to change your practice scheduling as well. This can result in a better overall office experience. For example, one practice looked at their appointment trends and realized that September and October are their slow months. They used these months then to schedule more well visits, physical exams, routine visits, and this was able to maintain a steady revenue stream. You could also use population data to track what time of day or day of the week is busiest at the office and schedule physical exams and well patient visits at the slower times. This would reduce wait time and improve patient satisfaction. One of the things that I do, I see a large percentage of my patients are diabetic. And one of the measures that we were assessing is how well um, not only how well controlled the diabetics are, but I can look through, um, I can do a report or an audit on all my diabetic patients and see if they're, if they're on aspirin, if they're on ACE inhibitors, or even when their last eye exam was, or um, if they've had a urine microalbumin test in the last year. These are some of the routine measures we do to kind of, um, we do routinely on diabetics. And I realized I hadn't been doing a lot of urine microalbumin checks as often as I needed to be on my diabetic patients. I think what was happening is I was ordering them, but patients just simply weren't doing it at the laboratory. Um, but then we were able to kind of track that, and I actually now have a pop-up that um, if I open a chart of a patient who has an outstanding urine microalbumin test that they have the lab slip for but has not been done, we can remind them at the visit.